Have you ever met a narcissist? How about a dark empath? People who have strong narcissistic traits have an inflated opinion of themselves. They also have an intense need for the admiration and attention of others, also known as narcissistic supply. The type of behavior that people with narcissistic personality disorder portray may be influenced by environmental factors such as excessive parental pampering or childhood abuse. Dark empaths, on the other hand, tend to be more perceptive towards other people's feelings than narcissists. Yet they also manipulate people quite the same. There are a lot of similar qualities between the two, but they are not the same. It will be quite difficult to differentiate them from one another unless you deeply examine their patterns of behavior and their ability to be genuine. They both like to be in control. So what exactly would happen if they met each other? Would they clash or become the best of friends? Let's find out. Number one, a power duo might be born. Will a narcissist ever get along with a dark empath? For the majority of the time, the answer is no. Narcissists and dark empaths both have dominant personalities and rely on other people to do their bidding. So the thought of them being friends sounds completely absurd. But while it is most likely that narcissists and dark empaths clash, there are times when they could become best buddies. This is because dark empaths have a high level of cognitive empathy. They're very perceptive about what other people are feeling and usually know what's going on. For this reason, dark empaths can identify a proud flamboyant narcissist and befriend them to utilize for future situations. And when they team up, both pictures of manipulation, self-centeredness, and charisma, they can be quite dangerous for the unsuspecting. Number two a fight for control ensues. Both narcissists and dark empaths have an urge to take everything they want for themselves. They're drawn to leadership positions and other people will often naturally give in to their desires so as not to spark their anger. Between the both of them, narcissists would be the ones who will most likely stop at nothing to have things their way. This is because they tend to lack empathy and have a high amount of arrogance. Dark empaths can be quite stubborn as well, but because they can gauge other people's emotions, they're more likely to pull back to find other ways to get what they want. When the two are together, it may seem like the narcissist is the more dominant one, but the dark empath is more likely the person pulling the strings behind the curtain. Number three, their language will be lies. How do you know whether they're telling the truth? You can't. Narcissists and dark empaths have honed their talents in the art of lying. A narcissist's need for admiration may cause them to boast about their false achievements, while a dark empath's manipulative personality may cause them to lie to appear compassionate. They see lying as a method to procure their desires and so will continue to do so without the consequence of guilt. So when the two of them meet, they will probably let out one lie after the other just to appear better than the other. Number four, manipulation will be their weapon. Who is more cunning? Narcissists and dark empaths are no strangers to lying and being in control. The absence of guilt and hunger for power makes them masters of manipulation. When a narcissist and a dark empath meet, they may immediately try to bring each other down through passive aggressive means. This may mean bragging about their wins and trying to downsize each other's achievements. It's also likely that they'd stir trouble for each other behind the scenes by gossiping, backstabbing, and blaming things on each other. Number five, they will get on each other's nerves. How similar is a narcissist to a dark empath? They do share a lot of similar qualities. For instance, they're both narcissistic, manipulative, and power hungry. The main difference is that dark empaths have a higher understanding of other people's feelings, while narcissists don't give other people much thought. They just wanna barrel into perfection all the time. But aside from that, because their personalities are quite reflective of one another, they may become annoyed at how difficult it is to make the other submit to their wishes. Their constant battle for supremacy can become tiring and cause them great frustration. They're used to having their way quickly. So this newfound obstacle may just feel like the bane of their existence. Number six, they will charm their way out of it. Narcissists are usually very attracted to empaths. It's because narcissists want someone who will constantly praise them and empaths, or at least full empaths, have enough patience and compassion in their hearts to keep giving to others. They're a good match, but only for the narcissists. 
This is because that type of relationship will quickly turn toxic, especially for the good-natured full empath. Dark empaths and narcissists are pretty charismatic too. It's just that they utilize this trait to lure other people into their trap. When both of them meet, they will display signs of confidence and try to attract the other to their side. But they're both playing the same game. The narcissist may come to see that it would take a lot more to manipulate them, while the dark empath will befriend them just to end up using them later on. And number seven, they won't forget each other's mistakes. Narcissists and dark empaths hold grudges because it's their key to staying in control. For example, when they notice that they're losing an argument, they will quickly rattle off the other person's mistakes to give themselves power. Narcissists lack patience and consideration for others and so may sometimes outright fight others whenever they do something wrong. They don't like being put in a position that makes them submissive. Dark empaths, on the other hand, tend to be malicious. They can be flexible and choose to not start an argument right away, but they will remember each error. So when both of them meet, they're probably already noting down each other's moves and coming up with a strategy to steal control. Do you think you've ever encountered a narcissist or dark empath? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.